All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. I, uh, as you can tell, I'm not in the Peterbilt anymore. I switched to the Volvo VNL F80. Um, there's a couple of things I added since the last time. One that you can tell right away is I got Chrome Wheels mod, which is amazing. They look great. Um, I was in the Peterbilt, but uh, it just got to the point where it wasn't practical anymore. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get driving while I talk. Uh, gotta take the parking brake off because I'm a dummy. Um, so a couple things. Uh, somebody, actually Vance Meeks, sent me a uh, personal message on YouTube regarding my the Peterbilt I was using. Um, and he explained to me, oh, he explained to me that um, there was a kind of upgraded uh, def file, which is like another file that you run with the modded truck to help fix some of the bugs that I had no idea about. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you so much. What is that noise? It's a very loud, like, air blower compressor noise, and Jesus, that was loud. Um, so thank you so much, Vance, for sending me the link to that. Um, I do appreciate it. It fixed some of the bugs that I was having with the Peterbilt. Um, right now I'm not using it. Uh, and the reason being is, it just, like I said, it just got to the point where it just wasn't practical. Um, but I, uh, I still have it and I still might use it from, a, from time to time. But right now I'm going to use the, uh, the Volvo. And it's a, uh, it's a great truck. So... Um, so what I'm, I am delivering, let's see, a reservoir tank, a 10-ton reservoir tank to, uh, Cialis, like Zach likes to call it, but it's, uh, I think it's Cali, um, France. So we're gonna hit some toll, some toll roads. And as you can tell, that noise is a little different. Um, as before in my last video, I was using Jeff's jake brake and horn mod and he recently updated it and now the jake brake sounds just absolutely amazing i mean it sounded the first version sounded great but this version just blows that other one out of the water it's just it's such a great mod that he made so um i will find out where he put it i think he said he put it on uh, media fire so i'll find out and i'll get it from him and i'll put the link to it in the description so if you guys want to download it and install it into your Euro Truck game, you can. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see how much, how long we have to get there. So time remaining on the job, we have 24 hours. I got to rest in four hours. Um, it's Friday at 4:45 in the morning. They want it Saturday between 3:40 in the morning and 5 in the morning, 5:10 in the morning. So. 14 hours left. We're going to get there Friday at 1900. So as of right now, we're projected to get there early. Um, but of course, I got to stop and sleep and refuel. So yeah, um, just sit back and relax and uh, we're going to go for a run. Um, another thing is if I sound a little different, I was messing around with my, um, I listen to that shake break. So I'm going to let you know, I'm going to warn you now, I'm going to jake break every chance I get. Uh, <laughs> but I was, um, I was messing around with my digital mixer, trying to get my microphone to sound a little better, so, I don't know. I think I helped a little, but it sounds pretty much the same. So, if you're wondering why I might sound different. Um, so I am playing what me and Jeff... Call, uh, hardcore mode which is this little GPS overlay is not there also these little fake mirrors at the top aren't there it's just a, adds a little more realism to it um, so yeah and I think what I'm gonna do from now on is I have these buttons mapped on my I have a d-pad on my steering wheel because it's used for a PlayStation 3 um, so I can look right, left, and then forward. That's supposed to be for the, um, the front mirror on the cab over. 
but I don't have one of those anymore. Um, so, but the thing is, when I'm turning the wheel, trying to press buttons on the on the wheel while I'm turning it is kind of a pain. So in the city, so the thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start reaching over and driving one-handed and using the mouse. Um, that mirror has like a smudge on it, like a black smudge on that mirror. Hmm. Oh. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to start reaching over and using the mouse and looking around. A little more fluid, a little more real, because then I can look at traffic and turn, you know. Uh, it's just, just to help out. Um, but yeah, I figured I should do another one of these, because last time I just utterly failed. I was, my, I started to feel more and more sick as the, uh, as the episode went on, and my commentary skill was just absolutely lacking. So, I figured I'd do uh, do another one, use a different truck. I do like this truck, and I think I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving every modded truck, actually. I also downloaded a Freightliner Cascadia, which is nice, but it, it does have its bugs. The um, front windshield, when it rains, uh, the wipers don't work. Um, it's just something that happens with modded vehicles. Which, um, who knows, I might get another PM from Vance or somebody else that might have the uh, fixed file for that. But, you know, that would be, uh, that would be great, but it's, uh, you know, I think it's, I think it was released recently, so it's, it's not great, but it's still an amazing truck. Um, but the Volvo, in my opinion, I don't see any major glitches with it, so... That's why I'm using it. Um, I decided to go with red. I was going to make my Volvo white, but this game and white trucks, they're very, uh, I don't want to say bloomy, but they kind of have this real bright shine to them, and they, eh, they're a little weird. Um, so I went with red. I like red. Red's nice on the truck. So... Um, anything else new going? There's not much else going on that's been any, you know, recent. My computer was being retarded yesterday, <laughs> which was nice, but it's being much better today, so. You know, you could just have those days where your computer's being retarded. I need to get in that lane, because I think this is an exit in this van there. Oh, shite. Well, this is going to happen. Come on, van, either go or don't. Come on. Alright, um, and the, the sound is different on the Jake break from the outside view, which, um, I will give you guys an outside view in, uh, in a bit, whenever I can get on a hill going down. I'll switch the outside view so you guys can hear it. Um, should I rest now? Two hours. Let's check ahead. Yeah, I think I'm going to rest here. Rest here, and I'm going to get some gas while I can. I'm going to go to the outside view. So, it, it's... The sound, it's much, much beefier. You actually, uh, you actually feel like you have an engine, you know, a very powerful engine, so. It's nice. It's, it's a great mod. I'm absolutely loving it. So we're gonna fill up on some gas while we, uh, while we're stopping. And we're going to park up in that spot right ahead there. And, um see how uh, sleep through the night. It's, oh look, there's another, there's another Volvo right there. And just to warn you now, I might call the Volvo a Volkswagen. Um, don't know why, but for some reason my mind is stuck on Volkswagens. I don't know. All right, let's uh, brake, turn the truck off, and sleep. Uh, so it's gonna be about 322. 
So we don't need our lights or anything. Good. Turn off the parking brake and let's get out of here. Let's take a look. Make sure we're clear. I think we are. So yeah, it's uh, it's a very nice truck. The only downside is, is what you can see right now. If you try to look at how much fuel we have, the sun, this this di digital display here is meant for um, night use, night driving. And during the day, you get that sun that shines right on it, and it just blocks it. So, come on, car. So it, it there is a downside, but. You know, it, it, it looks amazing. There's that couple minutes that you can't see it, but it is what it is. I mean, I can see how fast I'm going. I can see my RPM. That's all that really matters. Um, but it is nice, because in the Peterbilt, it, it was all uh, analog. So you couldn't, there was no estimated miles of fuel like there is on this one. See this one, it says at the very bottom, 794 kilometers of fuel. And you can look over there and see we, we have 740 kilometers to uh, to our destination. So it looks like we're not going to have to get gas, which is good. Um, we have 11 hours to get there, and i got to sleep in 10. So it looks like we're going to get there very tired and very low on gas, but we are going to get there without having to stop, and that's what I'm going to go for. Um, I hope we make it. <laughs> we should. We shouldn't have a problem. But yeah, um, there's not much going on. We're doing, uh, we're doing Kentucky State Week now for Chris and Dudrick. I know Dudrick isn't here anymore, but uh, we figured we'd do it for him anyway. Use this shake break. It's just, it's, it's amazing. I love it. Earlier when I was, I had saved the game earlier in the middle of a load and I was just finishing off the load and I was just jig breaking every chance I got. Oh, a little bit downhill jig break. The best part about it is you can jig break and just hold the gas down, which is what I've been doing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in real life that would probably screw something up in the engine, but in the game it doesn't, so I can do it. <laughs> There's a black smudge on my mirror, damn it. <laughs> ah, it is what it is. Oh, what am I doing? I had that up. I didn't I don't want that up. I don't wanna know. I know we can make it, that's all I know. I don't need to check it anymore. Um I don't know how long this trip is gonna take. I do actually have a timer here next to me. Um so I can keep track of how long I've been recording. The last, um, the last time I uploaded a Euro truck, it was a 50 minute episode. It, there was just a lot of crashes and it was just a mess. Um, so I figured I'd just throw it all together. And then I didn't upload, it was, I uploaded, I think it was like 1 a.m. Um, and I hadn't uploaded a video the day before or later on that day. Um, so I kind of counted that long video as a, as a two, two set video just in one. Um, it was just uh, scrambling around to edit, and I just figured if I just get it done and upload it and don't upload a second video that day, I can actually start getting ahead of my videos and uh, not run around with a chicken with its head cut off. So that's what I did. So if you're wondering what was going on those two days with no videos, that's what that's what it is. Um, and it's great. It is great. I love doing a video every day, but it's really great not having to do a GTA video every day. GTA, it's just so hard to get into a game and get recording. I mean, we, we can sit there and we can play two, three hours of GTA and get maybe 30, maybe get one episode out of it, you know, or maybe two if you're lucky. So it's just, it, it's tough. It's a hard thing to record, so that's why I'm kind of, you know, that's why I'm playing this, is so I can get you guys, I mean, 
you guys do love this game, which is another reason why I'm playing it, I can tell. Um, so it's just, it's nice not having to rely on GTA, because GTA is very unreliable. It's like that friend that's like, oh yeah, no, 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 I'll be there, you know. I'm always there, right? Yeah, and then you're like, oh hey, can you, we're gonna go do this real quick, just 30 minutes. And he's like, oh yeah, well, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. And then two, three hours later, he shows up and you're like, oh, that's great. <laughs> that's GTA. It's one of those, one of those people. <laughs> so. Oh, this, I'm, I'm loving this Jake break. <laughs> I'm telling you, I will, I will Jake break this truck until it breaks. Especially if I shift down. So it's uh, it's pretty nice, the Jake Ray. I mean, it's it's absolutely amazing. Take a drink here real quick. All right, sorry about that. <clears throat> Finishing off my uh, my peace tea, which for those of you that don't know, peace tea. It's like um. Looks like an Arizona can. It's the best way I can describe it. It's as it's. I think it's made by the same people. I don't know, because it is only 99 cents. I I go down to the gas station down the street and get mine. But peace tea, they come in like I think the ones I like is the lemonade tea, and then this one that I just tried today, which was the um. Uh, this one was the sweet lemon tea, which is uh, like pretty much lemonade. Lemonade iced tea is the one I normally drink, but this one's just sweet tea or sweet lemon tea. I'm describing this terribly. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, if you're someone that likes cheap drinks, if like an Arizona drinker that drinks those big the big cans of Arizona for a dollar, try out Peace Teas. They're they're pretty nice. I like them. I'm enjoying them. When I get the chance, when I either get my car washed or fill up on gas at the gas station down the street from my house, I, uh, I, um, typically pick one or two up. They're pretty nice. Just gonna break, break. Love it. Absolutely love it. So Jeff has been, um, Jeff has been slowly breaking into the Euro Truck 2 simulator mod community, and he's pretty, he knows how to make mods and what to do, and everything so he said he's gonna he's gonna teach me how to do it so that would be great so maybe I can make something um, I don't know I, I would never be able to beat his Jake break because this Jake breaks just amazing um, but you know I'd maybe be able to make something else You listen to that, Jake Rick, and tell me it doesn't give you goosebumps. That is flipping amazing. <laughs> oh my god. I've always been in trucks and trucking, and that was, well, I remember when I was a kid, always uh, sitting in the car on the freeway, passing by, and looking at all the trucks. Always looking at the trucks. Wanted to be a truck driver, but uh, it's, a, it's a very hard thing to get into. I mean, especially when you're driving trucks like this, getting your A-class license or your, you know, different states might call it different things, but I know in California it's called your A-class license. Um, to drive one of these trucks, it's a very tough thing. Um, my dad was going to be a trucker, and he went in to take the test and missed, I think he missed one thing, one or two things on the test, and you can't miss one. If you miss one thing on the uh, A-class test, you, you fail. Um, and it kind of got, he got, kind of got gypped because he, uh, they, they typically ask you, they go around your truck and they ask you, you know, what is this, what does this do, what is this, you know, to make sure you know what everything does in a case of an emergency. Um, but they didn't use his truck. I think he was using somebody else's truck, and he didn't know what one of the things were, so it was uh, it was a fail. But you know, it's just one of those things. I guess you got to roll with the punches. But I dig I digress. I've been uh, really into trucks and trucking and all that sort of 
the loud noise, you know, 10-inch stack trucks and big old Peterbilts and... Um, but when it comes to, like, a favorite brand of truck, I don't know. I don't know what kind of trucks I would really favor over the other, you know? I, uh, I do like Peterbilts. They're very nice, but they're... There, there is a point where a Peterbilt comes impractical. Like, um, for an example, when I first put the Peterbilt in, I don't think I was streaming or recording, but when I first put the Peterbilt in, I had to pick up a load of uh, logs at a logging company. And, um, and it, was, uh, it was a mess because they had, pretty much they had to pick a point for a cab over. Because there's a really... Don't do this. Don't do this. Uh, see, now this truck is just going to let everyone and their mom off the freeway. So, I know, I know, I shouldn't be doing this, but... That mirror over there seems to get, like, frozen at points. That's weird. But, um... So, they, they, it was a pretty much a cab over... Um, pick up because you had to kind of squeeze into this little spot and I was in this big old Peterbilt and it was just it was a mess but Peterbilts are great but I am loving this Volvo I uh, since I started playing this game when I go out in the freeway I uh, look at the trucks around and it's really spiked my interest back into trucks and um, I think me and Jeff were even talking about installing the uh, the the, uh, there's a trailer mod for GTA, but I think we were talking about installing that and kind of just screwing around in that game with the trailer mod, so I think we might do that hopefully soon here. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, something about trucks, they're just, they're so, I don't know, I don't know what it is. You, you, if you like trucks, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't like trucks then I can't explain it. It's just something that you either you love or you don't. So. And I'll tell you what, I love that. <laughs> two-lane road and we're gonna get stuck behind this truck he's probably hauling 40 uh, over at least over 40 tons of I think that's a glass container so he's gonna be all nice and slow um, I'm not really feeling the weight of my trailer it's only a 10 ton tank so not really having too many too much problems um, going to overtake him. So, it's just going to be me and him, I guess. Alright, I am going to check. I want to see how many more miles. 430 miles, or kilometers. It's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Slow it down. Okay. I pretty much try to not use my brakes anymore. It's either Jake brake or... There is some times where I do have to use my disc brakes, but... I try not to. I try to just use the Jake brake just for that amazing sound. Because I'm, I'm telling... I'm, I'm going to find that, and that's going to be my ringtone on my phone. Even though I know in the last rig and roll I said I'm going to get rid of my phone and I hate it, which I do. I do hate my phone, but... Uh, that noise is just amazing. Jake breaking. Um, so yeah, I've I've really been enjoying this game. I've really enjoyed, I mean, I do enjoy recording it, but I really enjoy just sitting down and playing the game for the hell of playing the game. Um, it's just, it's been, a, it's been a while since I've done that. Since I've just played a game to play it. So, it, 
it feels it feels nice. It feels good. Um, but yeah, so every anything new. Um, State week, Kentucky. We've been doing that, or we're going to do that. And I think after Kentucky, I think we're done. We did the mini, uh, the state day for Tim and his Vermont, which was pretty cool. Um, and I think after that, we're going to start using either the textures that I've made or um, any random textures. And I think we're going to use the KPD officer textures at LCPDFR that I was talking about. Um, so I'm going to... Which actually, as I'm talking right now, I think I remember on a, one of my single players, I said I was going to link it in the description. I don't think I did. So if I ever say I'm going to link something in the description and I don't, just leave me a comment saying I didn't link it. I will go back and link it. There's just, sometimes it's hard to, uh, when you're trying to upload multiple videos and edit multiple videos and videos that are going up different days from editing and, you know, this video is in front of that video and... It gets a little disorientating when it comes to following up on links because I don't remember every single word I said in every video. So, but I am gonna I am gonna try to improve on that. I think I'm just gonna start writing down a little piece of paper on my desk saying, "You said you're gonna do this." So, yeah. But uh, I think I'm gonna wrap this this video up we've made it um quite the distance we have a hundred and we have 370 kilometers to go um and then when we get back when we come back next time i think we're just going to uh to pretty much just finish the load off drop it off and i don't know maybe pick another one up hmm but uh yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed and uh see you next time bye